Hi everyone, welcome. Today in this tutorial I'm going to be going over how you can make these colourful animated lights within After Effects. They are completely customizable, so you'll be able to tailor them to whatever project you are creating. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so go ahead, create a new comp. I'm going to name mine Christmas Light Top Comp. 1920 by 1080, 30 seconds long, press OK. And the first thing that I'm going to do is create a new black solid, and I'm going to name it BG for background. Then I'm just going to import a couple of files that I'm going to need. One I'm going to use for the background, and the second I'm going to use to make my light comp. Then I am just going to put my snow layer on and I'm going to add a Gaussian blur and a tint. I didn't want anything uh, too complicated for the background but I did just want something low key. Something a little bit pretty. Cool, so I ended up with this baby blue. Alright, next I am just going to drag in this image and I am going to use it as a reference for my light. Basically just going to get my pen tool and trace over it um, onto a shape layer. If you do not want to use a reference, you don't have to. This is just what I chose to do. Um, you can do it from, you know, memory or just make one up if you want. Um, if that works for you. However you decide to do it though, make sure that the light and the little plastic part, if you have one, are separate because they are going to be different colours and we need to animate the fill colour of the light. I would also just recommend keeping every element of the light on the same shape layer. Cool, so I got all of my shapes there and I am just going through and making them all the colour that I wanted them to be. Then just go ahead, right click and rename your light. Cool, hide the reference layer or delete it if you want to and we are going to create a new adjustment layer and we are going to call this light control layer. And as the name of the layer suggests, we are going to be able to control our light colors and speed of the flashing from this layer. So go up to effects and presets and look for color control and drag that onto your layer. Control D to duplicate that and you also want to go back to effects and presets and type in slider control and drag that onto the layer as well. Cool, go down and pre-compose our light layer. I am going to call mine Christmas Lights Comp, press OK. Alright, so now we have to create our animating lights and to do this we are going to use expressions. So basically we are going to attach our fill light color on our light layer and we are going to attach it up to the color control on our adjustment layer. If you need to, you can use this little padlock to lock it up here. All right, so I am finding my fill light for my red and it is right here. I'm gonna alt click on this stopwatch to pull up my expressions. I am going to paste an expression in here which I will link in the description below for you. So you can see there is a yellow bar here and it is saying that I have an expression error which is true. Basically this code right here is linked to a different comp than it should be. So I am going to highlight what I need to be replaced and I am going to pick whip it up to my color control. So I'm going to highlight from comp, drag it all the way along and then I'm going to grab this pick whip and pull it up to color control 1 and I'm going to repeat the process for color 2. Good. Alright, now I'm going to do the same thing for slider. Alright, so I've highlighted from here and I'm taking this up to the slider. Cool, now you can see there is still a yellow bar here which means there is one more problem. It says invalid numeric result divided by zero. Basically this is happening because our slider is set to zero. Our slider affects the speed of the flashing lights. So it can't be set to zero but have a play around with what speed you want. I personally settled on 0 0.2. 
and oops I've got two red colors here so now I have red and white these are my colors and you can see it is flashing obviously you can choose whatever colors that you want to also you can of course add more colors if you just add um, underneath here I've got VAR for variable color 2 you can add another one under there color 3 color 4 etc also you will just need to add in another um, color 3 4 here on this bar if you want to know the deeper mechanics of these expressions I'm gonna to link to a couple of tutorials that I followed down below because they are really good and they delve into exactly what everything's doing which I'm just not gonna get into here right so I wanted two random flashing lights so duplicate your light and just adjust the position um, next we're going to like attach them to the string so I moved them apart from each other the way that you would typically see on the you know the string of Christmas lights that you wrap around your Christmas tree that's those ones <laughs> cool so I'm happy with that so I am going to pre-compose these lights um, I don't want them in my main comp right click that little eye and hide the light layer and then just grab your pen tool and on a new shape layer we are going to make the string for our Christmas lights this is what we this is the path that we are going to attach the lights to um, so it can look however you want it to um, I chose to have it going diagonally like this but it can really look absolutely any way you want it to use your imagination cool name that layer Alright, so now we want to take our string and we want to attach our lights to it and there is a really easy way to do this in After Effects and it's right up the top in the window menu. Just click on that, right down the bottom, this Create Nulls From Path. But before we do that, just come down into our string layer and we need to get the path and click on it the one that we want to do so go there again create nulls and click trace path cool so we have this path layer here and the first thing we want to do is grab our lights and we want to drag it by pressing alt onto our path that is going to take our lights and replace the null that was on this string already after Effects automatically sets the opacity to zero, so drag the opacity up to 100 and it's really important that you reset it, actually reset it for the anchor point. I was having a lot of problems and it was because of that. So do click reset, scale it down. So you can see when I scroll forward that my lights are moving along this path. I do not want my lights to do that. It's a really cool feature that comes with this expression, but I don't want it to do it. So I'm going to remove the keyframes, go up to the top and take the loop off. Now my lights are static. Okay, so to put our lights all along our path, we are going to use another expression. So go down here. You can see this expression in the progress path. I want to get rid of that and put my own one in. Again, I will put this in the description down below. So select that and paste. Fabulous, now we are going to um, control C and duplicate this as many times as you want. Just keep going as many as you want on the string until it starts to look funny. I found if I went too many, it started to look like the lights were closer together. So yeah, I got to about 27. Once you are happy with that, we need to go back down to progress and then go to the top and click copy expression only. Then we are going to select all of the other layers, go up to the top, click edit, paste. Once again, I am going to link to a really great tutorial down below and he goes into really deep detail about what this expression is doing. I really recommend that you watch it. It was very good. Okay, now you can see that these lights are attached to the string, but some of them don't look quite right. So I went back to my light layer and I reset all of the transforms, put them back where they were supposed to be, adjusted the anchor points, and really just mucked around until it looked right. 
there is really no point in you seeing numbers here um, you know nothing is going to be exact we're going to have different projects so this is just about playing around and working out what is right for you and your composition I went ahead and I added a few more lights in and just you know just tweaked it all a little bit right so when you are happy with your string of lights now we need to put a glow onto our lights so layer new adjustment layer and in the effects and presets we are going to drag a glow onto it okay when i was adding glow to my lights i ran into a couple of roadblocks and that is because my lights are opposite sides from each other so I ended up using an adjustment layer for each light and just pre-comping each light so that the glow effect was only affecting one light at a time. I found that it was best in the glow colors to just stick with the original colors option and then duplicate the glow a couple of times on the adjustment layer. I just felt it looked a little bit more natural. Of course it just it's just going to depend what look you were going for on your project. You could try and use the glow threshold to try and keep the line of light where you want it to be. I decided against that and I decided to use a mask on mine to keep the glow. I wanted to make the glow really big but keep it from being like underneath the light where the plastic is. So that is what you can see going on right here um, and as I duplicated the effect and it got bigger I had to adjust the mask. And I did put a third glow on there, but in the end, I just felt it was too much. I wanted it to look still a little bit more natural. Once you are happy with your lights, um, you can just pre-compose the light one and then just copy the adjustment layer and paste it over for light two. And yeah, I just went in and just rotated the mask, adjusted it. Uh, just very slightly. I don't think I did too much uh, for my second light. Um, just, you know, whatever's going to work for you. So this is what I ended up with. Um, I did just want to add one more adjustment layer in my Christmas comp layer, uh, Christmas lights comp, excuse me, and just add a slight glow onto this. I just wanted a little bit something extra. After this effect though, that is it for the lights. I am going to carry on and add a text uh, to my project, but if you just came for the lights, you can stop right here. I hope that you found this video useful and that you can make something out of it. If you did, if you wouldn't mind liking it, it would really help out the channel. Maybe consider subscribing, I'd love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, have a fabulous day! Right, so here I am on this top comp and I am just going to add a text in and the font I am using is Dish Out and I am just going to type in Christmas lights. Uh, I had all sorts of ideas for this but I decided I wanted to do something like a candy cane. Once I was happy I just put it behind my lights and pre-composed it and jumped inside of the composition. To create this candy cane effect I need a white solid and I need a red solid and then on my red solid I'm just going to make three masks for the stripe. Then I'm just going to pre-compose that, rename it candy cane, move candy cane layer to the bottom, change the track mat to alpha mat and change the visibility of the layers. On the candy cane layer then I'm just going to use the CC Repertile and CC Tyler and just adjust it until I am happy with the look. Next, add a bevel and emboss layer style to the text comp and I'm just gonna quickly go through and adjust it. You are welcome to pause the video and have a look at um, what I'm doing in detail. After the bevel and emboss, I went ahead and put a silhouette on the entire composition. So I dragged that background layer up finally, put an eclipse on it, feathered it out, uh, feathered the mask out and lowered the opacity slightly and here is what I ended up with if you have made it this far I hope you have succeeded in whatever project you are working on and I hope you have a really lovely day hopefully I will see you in the next one bye